the sprues <coughs> cut and uh, shaved down. Wasn't too much trouble. Good little exercise in shaving with the exacto. <coughs> I did notice, I don't know if it's going to get it or not, if you can see that or not. But I went ahead and test fitted this window right here. And I don't think it's going to let me zoom in on it like that. But on this, if you can see, hang on just one second, where the glass goes on the windows. And there's also little frames that stick in there too. And as you can see, get this out of the way, sorry. If you can get this out of the way, get this out of the way. There's a little frame that goes in this window right here, and then the glass goes behind it. Now, Walters was pretty pretty smart about doing this. I gotta applaud him on this. It's gonna take a lot of headache out. If you can see these little circles, I know it's hard to see because I have a, don't have a, that good of a camera, but you can see these holes right here the windows are actually bigger than the openings and if all goes right what I'm going to be doing is putting a drop of glue here in each corner and that will seal the window frame in because this the window frame itself is angled and it just kind of slides in let me uh, pop one out here for you and show you See, that uh, just pops out, and this pops in really well. I was very surprised at that. And, um, and you can see on the windows there, each window has these four corners. I have four circles on each corner. And you should be able to see how this, so you can see the white. It's, it's made bigger than the actual window, which is good. So you should be able to put a drop of glue there, and there, and there, and there. And it should be able to seal the frame in there good and tight and the plastic uh, clear acrylic for the window. So, um, I'm about ready to get started. Just want to give another update. That's the whole thing de sprued and tidied up. So, the next one, we should have a building together. So, talk to you guys in a bit.